If you're into your cars, then this is probably one that you'll recognise. The eagerly awaited Alpine A110 is a modern day reimagination of an iconic 1960s sports coupe. And parent company Renault says it's designed to deliver maximum driving enjoyment by keeping the weight as low as possible. To that end, it's made largely of aluminium and at less than 1,100 kilos, it weighs some 350 kilos less than its main rival. And the name of that rival? The Porsche 718 Cayman S. And competition doesn't get much tougher than that. The interior feels suitably sports car-like, with lots of brushed aluminium, stitched leather and microfiber textiles on show. It's not quite up to Porsche levels of interior quality, but it feels posh enough. The two-seat cabin has plenty of space, but the racing seats mean that your adjustability is really limited. The rear visibility is pretty laughable, and while you don't buy a sports car for its practicality, the front and rear luggage spaces are pretty minuscule. And in here, there's no door pockets, no glove box, not even a cup holder. So don't go trying to carry anything that you can't fit in your pockets. The big question though is, does the Alpine have what it takes to compete on the road? Oh yes, let's start at the beginning. It's powered by a 252 horsepower, 1.8 litre turbocharged petrol engine mounted just behind me in the middle of the car and it drives the rear wheels through a seven speed twin clutch automatic gearbox. Now 252 horsepower isn't all that much, but when it's in a car that weighs about as much as a dirty sock, it is plenty, believe you me. The pickup is really fast and frenetic. The gearbox is really smooth and quick in the way it shifts around. And the exhaust cracks and spits at people as you go by. And more importantly than all of that, it is faster from 0 to 62 than the Porsche Cayman. And the advantage of the engine being in the middle is that what little weight there is, is really evenly distributed between all four wheels. And it also is positioned really low down. In fact, the center of gravity, the point around which the car turns according to the laws of physics, sits around here down by your hips. And you can really feel that in the way that the car changes direction. It really feels like the car is turning around you like you're at the center of the universe. And that gives this thing a level of engagement that few cars at any price can match. It's probably not as grippy as a Cayman, but it is easily as much fun. The steering is quick, responsive, weighty, and super accurate. And the body control is really sharp. And all that helps the car dispatch corners in a really nimble, agile, and responsive way. And even more impressive, the ride is incredibly smooth. The light weight means that the engineers haven't had to make the suspension rock hard in order to cope. So it actually mops up bumps really, really well. If you're thinking that this thing is just a tarted up Renault, think again. So will you buy this car over a Cayman? Especially when they'll cost a similar amount at around 50K. Well, that all depends on whether you can make peace with the fact that you're spending your hard-earned cash, quite a lot of it, on a Renault rather than a Porsche. It also depends whether you can forgive the inferior quality or the limited practicality. However, if you're looking at it purely from a dynamic point of view and you just want the best driving car that you can get for your money, then believe you me, there is absolutely no reason whatsoever not to go for the Alpine.